Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure you have watched part 1 to part 21. Now let's discuss the types of hybridization. So there are various types of hybridizations that involve sp and d orbitals. We will deal with these hybridization only. The first is sp hybridizations. So here s and p orbitals meet to give a linear shape. We will discuss more on this. Then we have sp2 hybridization which has a triangle planar shape. Here three orbitals are there. So you get three orbitals all with same energy and shape. Then we have sp3. So we have four orbitals here s, 1s and 3p. So you get four uh, orbitals here, hybrid orbitals and it's tetrahedral in shape. And then we have sp3d. So there you have five. So here also you get five different orbitals. Then we have something called sp3d2. So here six orbitals are involved. 1s, 3p and 2d. So you get six. All should be equal shape. The diagram is not that clear but the, the, shape, the picture is not clear but all should be same shape and same energy. There are more dsp2, dsp3, d2sp3 but we will not learn this. We will be focusing more on these hybridization. So let's take sp hybridization. Let's talk about valence bond theory for sp hybridization. So in this type of hybridization, it involves mixing of 1s and 1p orbital. Please note, here you have 1s and 1p orbital. They mix. So two orbitals are mixing. So how many orbitals will get? We'll get two sp hybrid orbitals and they'll have same shape and same energy. Please note. 1s and this is 1p this is s s and p they are mixing to form two orbitals right they all this is 1sp hybrid and this is 1sp hybrid orbitals and these sp orbitals have 50% s character and 50% p character And the molecule in which the central atom is sp hydrized is likely to produce linear geometry because this sp hybrid orbital itself is linear. Correct? And these type of hybridization are also called as diagonal hybridization. Please note in this case I have 1s, 1p mixing since two hybrid uh, two orbitals are mixing to form hybrid orbitals. So I get two hybrid orbitals of same shape and size. Correct. All compounds of beryllium and carbon compounds with triple bond goes sp hybridization. Please note, beryllium always goes for sp hybridization and carbon with triple bond, for example, yes, ethene, it goes for sp hybridization. So let's take example of sp hybridization. So we have, let's take BeCl2. So beryllium atomic number is 4. And atomic composition will be 1s2, 2s2. So the outermost valence cell electron it will have two electrons, something like this. Correct? We have two electrons, so 2s will have one electron each. So what will have happen is if you see this is my uh, beryllium, this is my beryllium actually. So 1s will have some two electron which I am not. Uh, shown, I am just showing the outermost uh, uh, valence shells. So there are two electrons in the 2s orbital. This is 2s orbital. The one in the pink is 2s orbitals and it has two electrons. If you see, this is a representation in the box form and this is the actual shape of the beryllium one. It has a molecule somewhere. Molecule and uh, the inner shell I am not showing. I am just showing the outermost uh, shells, valence shells. So it has two electrons in the 2s2. 2s orbitals. This the pink one is the 2s orbitals. Correct. Now what will happen? It will go one electron will go from here to here. You, you must have seen it just went and it becomes sp hybridized. Please note one s here and one sorry this was a 2s it was 2p so 2s and 2p orbital hybridized to become 2sp hybridized orbital. You see how it works. 
so these two chlorine molecules are coming the moment it comes this becomes if you see sp hybridized so this guy is my sp hybridized and this guy is sp hybridized and if you see both have same shape and energy so what happened we had one barely molecule which had two electron in the 2s orbital and excited said one electron move to 2p so we have one electron in 2s and one electron in 2p so 2s and 2p hybridized to form sp hybridized both have same shape energy and both has one electron if you see one electron and now you get one electron from this chlorine one electron from this chlorine now the overlap concept will work overlap concept says that the orbitals which has uh, uh, unpaired electrons overlap so this chlorine this is chlorine this is chlorine it had one unpaired electron this chlorine had one unpaired electron this this was p orbital this was p orbital and so p orbital high overlap with sp orbital here and this also p orbital overlap with sp orbital this sp orbital had one electron and this sp orbital had one electron so it overlap and thus you got vcl so if you want if you want to find the shape of vcl2 using uh, let's suppose vesper let's do that vesper theory so my beryllium uh, uh, the last the valence electron has two electrons here and i have chlorine seven here it forms a bond i'm just drawing a lewis structure there is no lone pair in the be so it has to be linear right it has to be linear because this is my be this is my cl and this is cl and there is no lone pair here so it has to be a linear structure so if you see here both vscpr and the valence band theory both predicts the linear structure for vcl2 the point here i'm trying to prove is if you use vscp or, or valence bond theory in most of the case you get same answer because see this thing happens beryllium reacts with chlorine and it forms a linear shape molecule this is a fact experimentally proven and to explain this phenomena we have uh, vesper and we have molecular orbital theory sorry valence bond theory both explains the same uh, behavior both explains the same behavior this is using more the experimental way and this valence bond is more using molecular orbital approach right both are theories but the fact is that beryllium chloride is straight it is linear in shape so with a valence bond theory also we can say that this is straight because you see this is a straight thing right we already know that sp hybridization it goes in a case of sp hybridization we get linear shape molecule thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again